welcome to the crypt. Today we're going to be diving in with Shroom and Gloom. And first thing I wanted to uh, mention, as you can see here, this was part of a game jam development. Um, made in 16 days by a team of four. So bear that in mind. Uh, this is a dungeon crawling deck builder. Um, so we're going to just dive straight in and check out what it's all about. Um, so they said it was sort of like a first person deck builder um okay so okay we can look around a little bit that's cool move forward with w this art style is quite cool actually even though it's like a minimalistic um style this is really cool i'm surprised at like what is capable of being made in 16 days that's for sure Alright, so let's have a look at our hand here. We have rest, key, rations, and bash. Okay. So we have a key here. Can we use it on this chest? Ah, oh, we can. Okay, awesome. Alright, so it looks like we can take one of these cards here. Table manners. When a card is eaten, add a toothpick to your hand. Replenish. Forced growth. Increase all cards in hands damaged by two, exhaust, and obsessive, when four cards have been played this turn, draw another card, replenish, okay, I'm assuming that at the top here is what the card costs to use, um, these seem to be more passive by the looks of it, let's take the central one, uh, oh, I've just used my lockpick, um, hang on, what do we have here, how do I get through this door, two energy, oh, unlock, okay, so we can just bash this lock here, oh, that's cool, like, the animation is pretty good for a, like, sort of weird 2D, 3D kind of game, I don't know how they made this, it's really well done. Okay, so it looks like we're in our first battle here. <clears throat> Alright, so we can do a stab for four, a vulnerable for three, another stab, and that's the card we just grabbed that's going to increase. Um, okay, so I'm assuming over on the left hand side here must be our energy that we can use to play these cards. Uh, this might be our health, but I'm not sure how we ended up taking two damage already. Oh, okay, cool. So they do have some sort of tool tips when you scroll over them as well. Okay, so they've got a block. They're going to try and deal damage. So this is timid. We'll cancel attack if damaged. We'll cancel attack if damaged. Okay. So that seems easy enough. What we could do then, uh, we'll, we'll damage you. Okay, sweet. So that sort of stuns them. Uh, vulnerable is free, so let's use it on the big guy here. And we'll attack him for 10. That did quite a lot of damage. We'll receive 150% more damage. Okay. Now take it, we just go in turn. Alright, so we're going to be attacked by these two now. We could attack you to get rid of um, your move. What are these cards here? Roast. Deal 3 damage if fatal, make toasty. I'm not sure what that is, but we want to basically stun him out. Uh, let's do a stab here. And then a roast. Alright, so we got rid of the main enemy. And we'll end our turn, I guess. So Toasty is heal 5. I guess we might as well use that, it doesn't cost anything. Deal 4 damage, increase, so let's increase, ok 
Okay, so now they do six damage. We can kill this guy outright. We don't have the energy to attack him. That's fine. So he's now shielded himself up. He's going to retreat when their turn comes. So we don't really have to do a lot then, I guess. Let's make him vulnerable. Do six damage. Pick your reward. Erect a toad shrine. Okay, not sure what that does. Heal 10 health, 3 uses replenished. That sounds pretty good, honestly. Dig for treasure. We already have one in our hands, so let's take the bandage, maybe. Uh, oh, we do have another key. That's good. <clears throat> And our little map. That's cool. Okay, so we've got a few more standard rooms or fights, and then like an elite fight by the looks of it. And then at the end, our boss. Okay, let's carry on then. Oh, this room's got mushrooms in it. Let's try and dig for treasure. Okay. Sneaky Blade, deal 2 damage, draw 1 card when used. Incinerate, deal 8 damage, exhaust the fatal make toasty. Okay. Increase target cards damage by 2 and replenish. That's a 0 cost. 8 damage sounds good though. I'll take that. And you know what, I've just realised. I think we have 2 different coloured cards that we're using as well. Because it doesn't look like we use these cards in a battle. This is like a secondary hand or whatever we get. And the books on the sides have changed as well. Okay, that's really interesting to see. Oh, well. oh this is how we took damage. Deal 2 damage to self. Persistent handy. Okay. That's how we took that 2 damage earlier, by using this bash card. Alright, next fight, let's see. Uh, we'll cancel attack if damaged. Cancel attack, we'll retreat if damaged, okay. Do 8 damage, we can do 6 here. Um, you're going to just flee, so we might as well do that. Six damage should kill you. Um, do we want... I know I could probably hit you, but... I think we use this flash. So you're vulnerable, and then we do eight damage to you, which is 20. Wow, that's quite a lot, honestly. You're supposed to be fleeing. You're stunned now, so we're only going to take the three damage here. Okay, now you're basically stunned. And try and block. We've got a kill there. Um, I guess we just go vulnerable and roast. Okay, not too bad so far. So yeah, our cards are definitely changing. These must be for when you're actually moving around the dungeon. As opposed to our fighting. Um, hunt for truffles. Build a practice dummy to sharpen your attacks. I think I'll do that, actually. I love the layers on here as well. Like, when you walk past the walls. It's really cool. It's got a really nice effect on it. Uh, so we bash the game. Yes, I realize I am there. What I might do, because this, I didn't realize this bandage was only going to be used when we're outside of fights. I'm actually going to use this now. Uh, we were kind of low there on health. 
Uh, can we use this practice dummy? Ooh, we can. So it has... I guess it doesn't matter where we put it. Select a card to gain vulnerable. Ooh, okay. So we can add vulnerable to a card. Uh, add stab. Very cool. Uh, we still have a dupe we could use. Okay, and that unlocks some more cards we can pick. So deal three damage to all. Uh, deal three damage, add one vulnerable to target. Increase target cards damage by two. I think we're going to grab a scythe. Um, some AoE is always nice. And then we bash through the door. Target takes three vulnerable. Oh, hang on, this is a new symbol. I haven't seen this before. We'll try cast spell shield when their turn comes. Enemies with spell shield will ignore attacks. And it looks like you already have that. Uh, I think what we do is... Do we go forced growth on sight? It does five damage to everything. And then vulnerable maybe on Don't, Yeah, I think we put vulnerable on you. And then we do five damage to everyone. Okay, yeah, they actually didn't do anything there. You might as well heal up, because why not? Okay, so you're going to hit me for two, three times. Um, I think we just use these to get rid of that shield. Deal six and vulnerable. And we're going to have to just take the damage here. Vulnerable and then incinerate. Oh, nice. Okay, we should probably get a lot pick, right? Yeah, let's take the lockpick here. So, unlock, draw one card when used three uses. Okay. We can use another practice dummy, actually. Um, I might... Oh, it's only six health. Is it worth it? Let's use a practice dummy first, I think. Okay, so if fatal increase damage by two, maybe put that on the scythe, because I think that's probably got a good chance of doing damage here. Okay, we're going to upgrade our scythe. Um, let's dig for treasure as well. So seasoning, apply season to enemy, on death make it toasty, exhaust and replenish, okay. And vicarious mace, deal 8 damage, linger, when another card grows, increase this card's damage by 2. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what some of that means. Left to rot. Deal 8 damage to all. Linger. Exhaust. When you eat, increase this card's damage by 2. That sounds pretty good as well, actually. Um, I'm not sure if we should probably be... Is there a map? Can I press M for map? No. Is there any sort of menu we can bring up? 
we can either rest for 15. Actually, no, we can't because it cost us two. All right, we're just going to use this bandage. I just want to make sure I have full health going through this. So we're taking two damage now anyway. In fact, I should have opened that first. Um, I played that wrong. Okay, it does look like the enemies are getting a little bit stronger now. You charred toasty. I mean, we might as well do that. Um, I actually want to hit this guy here. I think I don't want this spell shield to be getting set up, so we'll end our turn like that. Oh, okay, right. So you gave it to this guy here. Wait, that goes to all. Uh, it looks like it added two to itself and to its ally. What the hell is this blob doing? Weird. Okay. Um, so we do have to try and get past. I think this guy here is going to be the problem. We do have vulnerable, but there's not much else we can do. Can we cast vulnerable on you? Is that going to help us much? We we'll use a scythe. Okay, that got through at least. Uh, let's use this left rock. Okay, at least we've managed to do some damage. Um, we're getting hit for quite a lot now, though. So we have six damage, add vulnerable. We can do another six here. That gets rid of you. I guess we make you vulnerable and that does nothing but at least um, at least that shield is off so you're going to try and retreat but you're also going to try and damage me okay one thing I have noticed actually is we don't have any like blocking or defensive cards uh, which is kind of unusual for a deck builder um, right off the bat to not have any sort of blocking or defensive cards. This seems to be either you heal or you do damage. So let's maybe use force growth. This will do seven. Uh, okay, so we just go scythe here. Uh, we can't play anything else. Alright, so we've got a campfire. Discard hand, then shuffle deck, then draw three cards. I might take this bandage again. Um, we could use... It does 15 health. Actually, we'll just use the bandage there. Maybe we dig in again and see what we can do. So, eager sacrifice, trigger all if fatal. Triggers in your hand twice. Okay. When a card is eaten, gain an energy replenish. When a card increases damage, draw a card replenish. Let's try Glutton here. We need to bash this door down. I was hoping we might have gained a little bit. 
more um, energy here. But we can't seem to do much, so why not increase or buff one of our cards? So, replenish. When you draw the card, draw an extra card. Right. So we could use that on... Let's just throw it on one of these roasts, because they're not that useful otherwise. It's a one cost card, that's fine. Uh, gain two energy, draw one card. Three uses. Actually, let's do this. Then we have... Okay, we can lockpick this door. We could... Heal up with this bandage as well, actually. So that worked out alright. Oh, wow, okay. This must be like an elite fight here. Um, it's a lot to deal with. There's a lot of HP. How are we going to do this? You will... I think we have to hit you. Everyone else is shielding and we have to target you then. Okay. Um, we want to maybe... Vulnerable you. I will roast you. That gets rid of you completely. Um, I can't afford to use the growth, so we'll just stab. There. We're going to have to take this damage, I think. Hoping we we're gonna get that heal back. So let's go maybe scythe. That hits everyone. Eight damage to all. Still going to do a lot of damage to me. I don't think there's any way I can kill anything other than this guy, which is not really that important. But we're going to take five damage there, six there, and then nine here. I think that kills us. That easily kills us. guess we have to use this. I don't know if it's really going to do much. No, it really didn't. Okay, well, I think we're dead here. The grey caps get you. <laughs> okay, and then we jump back into it again. Well, this is a really cool concept for a um, deck builder. I love the fact that you get to walk through in a like 3d environment well i guess it's not really that 3d but you know what i mean um this is a very cool concept that they've actually implemented here the art style is quite cool as well uh, while it's basic um i think it has a lot of potential and i'd love to see them expand on this actually i would hope that I know it was for a game jam, but I would really hope that they actually look into um, adding updates to this game. Uh, I think it could be really cool, actually. Even if they have paths that can split off, like if you came into one room and there might be... Because you can turn slightly, right? So if they had more rooms where you could potentially have more options and actually go through like a maze-like dungeon... Uh, that would be really cool, honestly. I think overall, like, the feel of the game, the cards and everything, it is quite cool that you can upgrade them, um, adding special effects to them as well. So I'm quite impressed, actually. Um, this is a free game on itch.io, um, so you can look up 
uh, shroom and gloom and check this out for yourself um, but if you're interested in more of this uh, definitely hit that subscribe button leave a like and a comment below and i'll catch you all in the next one see ya